Okay. Hi there again, uh, Scott here. From, uh, I've got a question from a student about calculating g squared by hand. So um, we've got a question with um, three groups, trauma survivors with P PTSD without, and then a control group. And then they're being grouped according to their blood pressure to see if there is any dependence between the two. And then we've got the observed values as follows. So in the three groups and then split into high and normal blood pressure. And we were given these values as observed frequencies from the test subjects. And we can use those to get what we'd expect or expected frequencies if there is no dependence between the two. And that's, we take the row totals from each group and also the column totals. And then the expected frequencies are, we take the row total times the column total divided by the total total. So like for this first entry 6, the expected would be 17 times 23 over 67. So you put that in there. Then 17 times 23 over 67 for where 4 is. Then where 7 is, uh, that's 17, 21 for the row total and column total. So 17 times 21 out of 67. Then for 17 down here, that's 23 times 50, row total times column total. And for 19, it's the same. Row and column totals are the same. For 14, the row total is 50, column total is 21. So, and that's our expected values. Now to get a chi squared, uh, right, so for a chi squared, we do for each value the the observed squared, or the observed minus the expected value squared, and then we divide by the expected, and then we sum all those up. So like we do, 6 is the observed for this first row and column, minus 5.835, that squared over 5.835, and then 4 minus 5.835 squared, and so on. Then 7 minus 5.328 squared over 5.328 and then so on, 17, 17.164, 19, and 17.164, 14, and 15.672 squared. And we take all those and plug them into Google. I did that, and I'm getting 1.483. And that's our chi squared value. That measures the... measures how different the observed and expected are. And then if we wanted to carry out the full test, we'd need also need df. So we've got g squared is 1.483. And then df is row minus 1 times column minus 1, or the number of rows minus 1. Let's see, there's two rows, so two minus one times the number of columns is three, two minus one times three minus one, so that's two. And then we pop that in the calculator. So, great, if you have any questions about that, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I uh, hope you have a great day.